Hello, this is going to be an example in how to use a model to take a fraction and divide that by a whole number. So the first thing that we're going to do when we want to take a fraction and divide it by a whole number is, you know, we're going to look at the fraction that we're supposed to be dividing and we are going to just draw a model of that fraction. So I have three-fourths, so I'm going to draw a model that's going to represent three-fourths. So I'm going to just make a kind of a fat little or a tall large bar graph and I'm going to let's shade this in three-fourths so we want three-fourths of this shaded so we have this nice little model that represents three-fourths you know we have one two three out of four now I want to divide this into fives so the first time I divided this with this model I divided it uh, vertically so I can what I can do now is I can divide it uh, by 5 horizontally so using a different color I will divide it into 5 going down so we have 1 2 3 4 5 and you can see how I divided this into 5 I have you know 1 2 3 4 five rows and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in one of these five uh, rows so here I'm going to shade that in and to find my answer what I'm looking for is I'm looking for what overlaps so I see that these three are overlapping so I have uh, three 3 fourths divided by 5 is going to be 3 out of out of how many? Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down, 1, 2, 3, 4 across. So it's going to be 3 out of 20. And those of us who are familiar with um, taking these division problems, these division problems and just making them uh, so we're multiplying by the reciprocal, so that would be, you know, 3 fourths, times and then instead of five over one we're gonna do one fifth. You know, this is three out of twenty, so same thing. And we're actually starting to write them as sentences doing it this way, but the first thing we're trying to do is just kind of get a visual about how we can take, you know, this the red is the three fourths, and we're actually dividing that chunk into five additional sections. And then out of the whole how many pieces does it create? Well, it creates 20. So that's one example. More example. So here we have one third divided by two. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a model that's one third. So one third. I'm going to shade in that first third so I know what my one third is. And then I'm dividing it by. Two. So I want to take this and I want to divide it into two rows. So now I have, you know, my one out of the one, two, three, and then I have divided that whole thing into another two rows this way. And I want to shade in one of these, one out of the two. So we can see that the blue represents one half, the red represents one third and so when we multiply them together we get uh, one out of six so hope that helps